Welcome to Mouse to House Campers again folks. Here we have something different and unusual. A 1999 Ford Iveco 7.5 tonne truck. So yes, uh, people of a certain age can drive this on an ordinary car licence. It was registered new in 1999 by North Wales Health Authority. And shortly after they commissioned it into a mobile dentist unit so in the rear it's been rigged out for a dentist and it's done the high mileage of 13,000 kilometers so if we divide that by 1.6 to get the mileage reading you could say approximately 8,000 miles that's 100% genuine all confirmed it's down on the log book as a special vehicle so it wouldn't take much just to uh, notify DVLA of picture evidence and they'll convert it to a motorhome it's screaming out to be converted to a motorhome this it's even got the wheelchair access or you could possibly convert it to a horse box or take the rear box off and use the chassis as a flatbed platform be very unusual to get another vehicle like this with 8,000 miles I drove it back from Leeds and it drives beautiful 5.9 turbo diesel 5 speed so we'll just zoom in on a, a few little bits and bobs you can see there it's got a few little bits of the stickers left on Looks as nice as you'll ever find a 1999 truck. It's got steadies there, so them four poles go into the four areas. Them, you can wind those up, so you can have it off the suspension, as it were. But all over the condition is quite incredible. So I'm just zooming in. Little ding there, little bit of surface corrosion there, being super critical, but that's the way we do it. We show the blemishes as well as anything nice. Tiny little crack on the paintwork here. Some residue of stickers left on, don't ask me to interpret that. Let's have a look in the cab. Creaky door, back of use, want some grease on there, I would suggest, on the hinges. Look at them door panels. <laughs> when was the last time you saw a truck like that? It's even got the plastic cellophane roof lining still on. And there we have 13,350 kilometres. So as I say, divide that by 1.6 and you get your mileage reading. Look at that dashboard, and that seat. We'll start her up, it's got a full bunch of keys for everything. All the, as it was a, a dentist's unit, lots of the cupboards in the back were locked up for the medicine. Starts on the button. As I say, I drove it back from Leeds. The only thing I noticed was the gears initially were just a little bit stiff. Not the gearbox, just the selector. So I'd suggest the cables needed a bit of grease, but I've now driven it over 100 miles and it's freed up nicely, just down to lack of use. Air brake, handbrake, and we'll select first gear. There she goes, under her own steam. Into reverse. There's the audible reversing alarm. When was the last time you saw a steering wheel like that on a truck? Put the handbrake on and let's have a look in the rear. Face off radio cassette for those of you who can remember a cassette. So yeah, very good condition. It's a little bit of a, a ding there on the fiberglass, so that could do with a bit of cosmetic repair. But other than that, she's beautiful. I'll just shortly pass over 
the video camera to my colleague and I'll demonstrate. The wheelchair access. So ordinarily it's set up like that. You could just uh, walk up the stairs, no problem. Just quick, have a look. The front area is the waiting room. We'll have a look at a bit more of this in detail. In the rear is the dentist operating theatre, as it were. And we'll just pass the camera over to my colleague and we'll demonstrate. Okay, so an electric box that goes there, lifts up there nice and neatly. So we just lower that slightly, pull the steps out to create a flat platform for a wheelchair. As you can see that goes to deck level. This must have cost a fortune in its day. Door slightly open there. Fabulous. Let's just grab the camera back and off we go again. So we'll just lower it down a bit so we can see. the people who converted the body from new. So there's your waiting room. Fully kitted out with 240 and 12 volt electrics. And as you can imagine, lots of the cupboards have locks on them and there's a full bunch of keys for it. So you've got the main fuse box, master switch override so you can operate a generator or on the mains the quality of the fixings and fittings is just incredible but as you can imagine it was money and cost no object in 1999 by the health authority i think there's an emerging heater there yeah your hot water Lines fitted. Yeah. There's even that's a telephone socket. Full ceiling, bone dry, absolutely dry. Some sort of heater, but obviously is not there now because the wire's disconnected. Let's put that in its rightful place, and we'll go into the dentist operating theatre. So there's the evidence where the dentist chair was fitted. Well, it was riveted in there. I would suggest perhaps a leisure battery. Yeah, I would say so. Lines and opening windows. It's been well thought out. More locks on cupboards. Lots of keys. Certainly make a good blank canvas for somebody. Some instructions for the tail lift. Not sure what that's for. Peach 
spring water, anybody? So as you can see, all the water pipes are in for hot and cold. For some reason it come with the tanks, uh, the sinks removed. Can't understand why anyone would remove the sinks, but there you go. And there we have it. raise that to the stop, that's for the travelling height, and pull out the side door which locks and we've got the keys for it, and there we have it. So just to recap, a 1999 Ford Iveco 7500 kilogram, so it can be driven on an ordinary driving licence special vehicle on the logbook was a mobile dentist however you've got a nice blank canvas i would suggest the best use would be to convert it into a motorhome but obviously lots of uses for it i don't think you'll find another one of this age condition and mileage for a long time if ever i'll be happy to deliver this and drive this personally myself to anywhere in the united kingdom all i ask if you're happy and you want to go through with the purchase just give me a lift to the nearest trade station i can't say further than that i'll even consider a part exchange car motorhome camper van motorbike just give me a ring the phone's on 9 a.m till 9 p.m seven days a week Thanks for listening.